story to tell. In May 2020, amid a fierce China-U.S. conflict surrounding the COVID-19 pandemic, China Military Online revealed on May 10th, China conducted a test flight of the H-20 stealth bomber, although the PLA has not confirmed this information yet. A recent article in the South China Morning Post, widely considered to be a government mouthpiece in the United States, revealed that China's Xi'an H-20 stealth bomber is likely to make its first public appearance at the Zhuhai Air Show in Guangdong province in November. Development of the H-20 is believed to have begun in the early 2000s. So far, China has only confirmed the existence of the H-20 stealth bomber twice, in 2016 and 2018 respectively. According to some Chinese experts, China's new stealth bomber will be able to enter service as early as 2025. According to the 2020 Chinese Military Power Report, the United States believes that the Chinese Air Force, the third largest in the world, owns a total of 2,500 aircraft and is a major threat to the United States. The current Chinese strategic bomber, the Xi'an H-6, which is an upgraded version of the Soviet-era Tupolev Tu-16 bomber. Compared to other advanced bombers, such as the American B-1B Lancer, B-2 Spirit, or B-21 Raider, or the Russian Tupolev Tu-160 supersonic bomber, the Chinese plane is far behind. If rumors about the Xi'an H-20 come true, it will be a huge step forward for China's strategic bomber. Chinese military planes are inspired or copied from Russian or American designs, and the Xi'an H-20 seems no exception. Until now, the Xi'an H-20 remained a Chinese military secret. Most recently, in May 2018, China Aviation Industry Corporation published a video of a mysterious plane with a flying wing design similar to the US B-2 Spirit. It is considered to be the precursor to the stealth bomber H-20. The ability to build large aircraft with stealth capabilities is a prerequisite for building the H-20. In fact, following China's success on the J-20, J-31 stealth fighters, and Y-20 transport aircraft, China's development of the H-20 should not come as a surprise. The H-20 is said to be made of about 80% carbon fiber material and some parts of the aircraft can be made by titanium alloy. The leaked information about the new Chinese bomber shows that the H-20 is a simulation of the US F-117 Nighthawk the first stealth aircraft in the world. The Chinese military has never revealed the specifications of the Xi'an H-20. However, the Chinese media reportedly published graphic images of this mysterious aircraft. The US military estimates that the aircraft has a range of about 8,500 kilometers. It is designed to both carry conventional and nuclear weapons, delivering attacks with high precision. In addition to mimicking the design of the Lockheed F-117 Nighthawk, it is also predicted that the H-20 will refer to the aerodynamic layout of the B-2 Spirit strategic stealth bomber. According to some unconfirmed sources on the Chinese network, the H-20 will use four WS-18 or D-30 KP-2 jet engines with supersonic speeds and stealth capabilities. The H-20 can carry CJ-20 cruise missiles, which have a range of up to 2,500 kilometers. It is reported that the H-20's combat power can be five times that of the H-6K, 
making it the only Chinese plane that can take off from the mainland to strike the U.S. territory and a majority of targets globally. In the future, when the H-20 is mass-produced, Beijing's dream of building a strategic air force will be initially realized. It has also been suggested that the H-20 will replace the current role of the H-6K strategic bomber. Chinese official media said that in the context of increasing Sino-US competition, it is time to make the H-20 public. Why is a strategic bomber so important to China? Modern military challenges and pressures have become an important issue in ensuring Chinese sovereignty and security. These factors compel the PLA to develop a new type of strategic bomber. The current H-6 bomber has been upgraded several times but admittedly is no longer suitable for modern warfare. From H-6A to H-6N, just upgraded versions of the H-6, even if China builds an H-6Z, it will still be considered obsolete. However frightening its technique is, it cannot keep up with the US B-1B Lancer strategic bomber. Most importantly, although the H-6 can carry nuclear weapons and advanced air-to-air -air cruise missiles, its cruise capability is limited, significantly reducing the deterrence and combat effectiveness of these weapon systems. The deterrent ability of this aircraft is not even that of the Russian Two beloved 295 bomber. Once the H-20 is born, it will allow China to officially complete its nuclear strike capabilities in the air, on the land, and at sea, the nuclear triad. The ability to attack air targets with conventional ammunition will also turn a new page, especially as it relates to advanced air defense systems such as those fielded by Russia and the US. For the United States, the arrival of the H-10 would pose a real threat. With a range between 8,000 and 10,000 kilometers, the H-20 can attack any target within more than half the Pacific. With the CJ-20 cruise missile, with a range of 2,500 kilometers, the H-20 can completely threaten North America, not to mention the DF-17 missile or some other nuclear warhead equipped missiles. This is an absolute nightmare for America. Historically, part of the strategic missiles, only the Soviet strategic bombers in the Cold War era could pose a threat to American territory. The theory is like that, but keep in mind that over the years, rumors of the H-20's maiden flight have popped up more than once without any confirmation thereafter. The plane has yet to take off. Without any credible images, the public introduction is still far off. The experience of the United States and the Soviet Union during the Cold War shows that the development of modern strategic bombers is very costly and time consuming. That is why Russia and the United States, while developing bomber projects, also pay more attention to modernizing existing assets. It is too early to tell when the H-20 will show up and what possibilities will be available. In short, the H-20 remains a machine with an uncertain future. The real Chinese concern is probably not the H-20 project, but the upgrading of the old H-6 class. China's mass production of H-6K bombers has dramatically changed the balance of power in the region. It was followed by the appearance of the H-6N version. H-6's range could increase further as the PLAAF has more heavy refueling aircraft. The result of a significant expansion of the operational area of PLAAF bombers. Rumors of the H-20 may be just a product of the Chinese media, intended to distract from the real growth in Chinese bomber capabilities. My feature of the CN S20 ends here. Thank you for watching. The feature was completed with the voice of Michael Heller, known as the Gris Corollus. Thank you very much. How do you feel about this video? 
you find this video interesting, please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again in the next videos.